Whether you call it a pancake, flapjack, crumpet or a crepe. The one thing that we can all agree on is that it is just so delicious. So much so that we're celebrating it all week. Right now, we want you to pay close attention because um, we're going to be taking a French classic that can go from casual breakfast to an elegant brunch, depending on how you dress it. I'm talking about a humble crepe. Ah, tell me all about oh, it, sir. Girl, <laughs> yummy. I mean, we're all familiar with pancakes. We all call them different names names but today we're just going to show what you can do with them and yeah. first things first to me girl yes how to make the perfect crepe I'm gonna lead the way I'm gonna lead the way and it starts off with a couple of simple humble ingredients and we were talking about the history of pancakes and where it started and apparently it was Shrove, Shrove Tuesday and it was a thing where people before Lent starts people were trying to clear their cupboards and get rid of all the temptations the flowers the sugars and all of that and this is how a dish like this came about so to start it off with starting with something as simple as flour everyone has got flour in their house so at least you know what you don't have to go stress and buy too many of those uh, costly ingredients I'm just just gonna sift some of our flour in there. I mean, you spoke about it, whether it's a pancake, whether it's a cake, whether it's a hot cake. In essence, it's like the same thing. It just differs from where you are in the world. The important part though is that foundation that to make foundation. sure it's right. And that's what you're building Correct. on there. Yeah, so into this foundation of ours, I've got some flour, added a pinch of salt, and then we go in there with a bit of sh sugar as well. But the one thing I did notice when I did some research is that sugar was actually a later addition to, um, uh, to pancakes. It used to be quite a savory dish where it even was used um, um, I mean, honey was used back in the day and even olive oil. Huh? So over the years, it's changed. It's become a couple of different things. So I guess it's also about where you are in the world and how you want to, you know, zhuzh it up. And then into this, the batter, we've got some milk that goes in there as well as some eggs. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, as I whisk it, the batter is going to be quite runny. And this is the differentiating fact between a pancake and a crepe in this instance because the crepe is much more runny because you want it to be nice and flat, nice and pliable. You would even I'd suggest that you even put this mixture into the fridge just for about an hour okay. to relax the gluten mm. to allow it so that once we put it into the pan and you show us how to make it then it at least it goes and fills. <laughs> I know it's quite a size <laughs> so in essence this is the batter you're looking for chill this in the fridge and then make sure you've got a nice uh, um, stainless steel pan that's basically level because you want it to cook throughout you don't want certain parts to be cooked on the yeah. other sides of it not cooked but Jay you're about to show us exactly how to cook it right so yeah I've got some of this lovely batter batter that Chef Tumi has whipped up for us earlier. And obviously the, the batter is the first essential part to a crepe. Yes. The other stage is, your, is your, your equipment. So you want a pan on the heat. You don't want it too hot that it's going to burn, but you want that sweet spot where it's yeah. nice and hot. It cooks as soon as it hits the pan. Mm. And what I love to have at hand is just a little bit of kitchen towel, okay, dipped in some oil. And that's a nice way to ah. lubricate your pan in between your crepes, um, just in, to ensure that they don't stick. Mm. Obviously, you want to have a nice non-stick pan to start with. And then just a ladle, because often a ladle is just the right amount mm. uh, for a crepe. And because I suppose if you do add too much batter, then it's going to just thicken up. And yeah. that's not necessarily a crepe. And that also goes to what we posed in the beginning when I was asking, you know, so many different people call it so many different mm. things. Pancake, crepe, crumpet, flapjack. Um, it's so interesting to find out. It depends what passport you hold, what part of the world you come from, and that kind of represents what you would call it. I was actually corrected, and when I thought, when because I, I had to go and learn about these things, a flapjack, technically, on our side, we call it a similar, it's like a pancake, it's not. Apparently in the UK, a flapjack is something completely different because it starts with, it's got rolled oats, it's in essence almost like a granola bar. So that wouldn't be the same as a pancake, whereas if you're in the US or South Africa, a pancake almost like like the exact same thing, but a flapjack is not the same family. Okay, and here on uh, Chef Jay's side, you were crossing your fingers earlier, <laughs> hoping that this goes well. It looks incredible. You did, you did so well. Girl, thanks for the compliment, but <laughs> let's not get too excited. You know what? In our house, the first pancake is always. Yep. They do a bit say of a that. Problem, oh, okay. South Africa. Let me know if you say the exact same thing at home. They always say that first flapjack, that first pancake. It's always just a taste test, a dummy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I agree to that, and I think the reason is for for that. It's also when it cooks. There's a little bit of steam that it creates 
So it actually allows for you for the next batch as you keep going. I, I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of a science that actually helps for the next few to not stick. Definitely. And I think the important part, and I think I need to take my own advice here, <laughs> is not to flip it too early. And I think that's what I've done. Okay. Okay. So now you can see that it's going, it's, it's losing its shine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to, you want to make sure that it goes nice and matte before you start, you know, playing, playing with, with it. it. So it's, it's a bit of patience, you know, it's, it's, it's something simple, but it's, it's also mm. easy to get wrong at the same time. Stunning. Here on my side, um, it, uh, we've already got one that you've put like a beautiful chocolate inside. You've also put some berries because berries are seasonal right now. This takes me straight back to any Sunday market. I don't think that um, Sunday or Saturday markets are complete yeah. without visiting the crepe station, getting something so nutritious, so yummy, whether it's savory or whether it's sweet. That smell of the yeah. pancakes mm. just baking away and cooking away while you walk through the market. I think that's mm. what's been the most inviting factor about the crepes. And as you can see now, it was stopped with a bit of cinnamon sugar. But like we do, you can go with a bit of um, icing sugar, strawberries, cream. It really is up to you. You've mm. got some chocolate sauce there. It's just about being as, as uh, adventurous as possible. Yeah. And I think there's also that element of nostalgia, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and uh, it actually reminds me of my, my cute tattoo and I've been waiting my entire life for this. <laughs> And, you know, it reminds me of being in the kitchen with my mom, making pancakes. It was the easiest thing to do. And as little kids, it's always so nice to get them involved, you know, with yeah. the fillings. You know, you can decorate them and be fun with it. And I think that's, that's what cooking and baking is all about. It's about having fun. And um, getting stuck into get, it. Getting stuck into it. <laughs> well, now that we have got the foundation sorted at the end of the day, it is time for us to fill our delicious, delicious crepes. Throughout the show, we're going to be showing you variations of ways to make this extraordinary. And if you want to make it extraordinary in your very own household, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. But coming up, we have a filling breakfast treat that's trendy, easy to prepare, and best of all, it won't leave you feeling heavy. Pancake breakfast logs is what's on the menu, so please do not go anywhere. Flip that nice, we like to see it. <laughs> 